Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. In today's video, let's quickly check how to make your Android TV a little faster. Some of the ways in which you can make it a little faster. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Please enjoy. So this is Android TV from higher. I'll directly get to the point and show you all how to make it faster. So go to settings and go to device preference and if you scroll down you should see developer option if you don't see this uh, you can go to about and scroll down completely you should see android tv os build click multiple times until you see your developer coming up has a pop-up there once you see your developer you should see this option coming up developer option just click on that and scroll down till you see animation scales window animation scale transition animation scale animator duration scale you can just turn it off it's not required and next thing you have to do is come down and click on don't keep activities it will be disabled by default you need to enable it and uh, background process limit you need to keep it to one as it's a TV, you don't require to do any multitasking over here. So you can, you know, keep that to one and also enable don't keep activities. So that's all from developer option. Next thing, what you have to do is go to home screen. Here, uh, if not required, you can just disable uh, the customized channel it's uh, we don't want to use unnecessary resource for this and also also you can disable video and audio previews that's not required we don't want to waste our resource over here so customize click on customize service and disable everything we don't want any recommendations from these channels and if you come back that's all from home screen as well apart from that if you come to power you can enable auto power off so that uh, you know the ram is not unnecessarily accumulated if it's not in use so you can just you know, set it to auto power off after some time whatever time suits well for you so that's one more thing which you can do and then you can come to apps and click on see all apps show system apps there should be if you complete if you come completely down should see android tv home if you see uninstall updates if you see uninstall updates just click on that and uninstall all the updates you don't require that and next thing is whatever installed apps you have just disable the notifications we don't require notifications from that you do for all the apps whichever uh, has the notification enabled so if you see notification enabled anywhere you can just disable that we don't require the notifications from these apps so that is one more thing which you can do the next thing to do is uh, go to google play store if you have one and click on your name go to settings and auto update should be set to don't up don't auto update apps so that should also be done so that we don't want on unnecessary time and resource used for that so that is one more thing which you have to do next you can install some of the apps one is local send you can use this for you know sending uh, apps or images or videos to TV from your iOS or Android devices. So this is one useful app which you can install uh, local send and you can install F launcher and one more app which you need to install is button mapper. So these are the three apps you need to install. Along with that, there is one more app which you need to install. Once you have installed local send, I have uh, you know 
sent fast task killer apk uh, to my tv and i've installed this as well so what this does is uh, as it's a non tv app it won't be visible directly on the home screen you can definitely go to f launcher you can go to f launcher and uh, in the non tv application section if you scroll right you can see this app installed what it does is on one click it will clear some of the ram memory that's used and and that will be one more way to you know clear out the ram to make it still faster what you need to do is uh, need to go to button mapper and add buttons and so you can add more buttons as well on your remote you can press any of your favorite buttons i'll just press this one so as you press this that would be captured over there the id would be captured and you can use this uh, particular button that is blue which i have right now captured you can click on no thanks and here you can you know customize this on single tap you can run any of your favorite apps and i have i've been running fast task killer with a single tap so i've done it for this button hello if you if, you, if i click and open this you can see with single tap fast task killer will be running so if i come closer and show this this is the yellow button if i click this that particular app will open up and clear out all the ram memories so this way you can you know map uh, the buttons and for home button what i've done is on double tap of home button it will open f launcher it is something like this so this is the home button i, I click it twice and f launcher will be opening up and it has a very simple interface as well so it's easy to use and uh, it will show only the app names which is required and no unnecessary you know recommendations or uh, video previews here so that is the reason i'm using f launcher for this and that is how you can make your tv faster and the most uh, useful one is the fast task killer which will make your tv much faster so after clicking this if you see the response is really good on the tv so yeah hope you all like the video guys if you like the video please do hit the like button subscribe comment let's catch you in the next video until then see you bye